International Film Festival The Hague. Dieg Special Award for Lifetime Achievement. Award in my hometown. That's special for me because filmmaking, a film director, is, I think, in my opinion, the best profession in the world. Telling stories, sharing stories all over the world, and I hope with my films I can a little bit uh, help to make this world a little better than it is. So, I'm now 77, and I hope to continue, let's say, 15 years. So, in 15 years' time, I will be here back with, with the film 400. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you very much. I give the questions a special thing. in the category Best Actor are Sid Phoenix with the movie Dog Run from United Kingdom, Russ Consul with the movie Daisies from United States, Lucas Tavernier and Hen Lauten's Executioner from the Netherlands, and Giorgio Colangeli with the movie Rata from Italy. And the winner in the category Best Actor is with daisies. life journey and his movement into the afterlife using visual excerpts. Daisies is a beautifully constructed and meditative film held together by superlative acting by Russ Consul as the old man. Through his emotional and haunting portrayal, we feel the drama of his life, his pain and his life passing. An amazing film created by many, held together by his fabulous acting. Congratulations. In this category, there are also three honorable mentions. Lucas Tavernier for Enhen Lauten's Executioner, Sid Phoenix for Dog Run, and Giorgio Colangeli for Ratan. The nominees for the category Best Actress are Caroline on the Roof from Eugenie Ansel, Anselen from Luxembourg, Gash by Juliette Van Arden from the Netherlands, LOS from Willemine de Jonge from the Netherlands and Up Close Again by Alice Aifting from the Netherlands. And the winner for, for the category Best Actress is... Juliette Van Arden and Gosh. Juliette, uh, of course, uh, thank you for the recognition. Uh, not only for her acting, but she directed, uh, she wrote it, she produced it, so uh, she did all the work. So, <laughs> more than enough. While Gush is such a well constructed film, it is the acting that sets it apart. This is acting at its best, physically and emotionally confusing, chaotic, and raw. Through her brilliant acting, Juliette Van Arden helps us to understand the other side of giving birth and what goes through a new mother's mind. This is a very private lived experience on screen, 
a portrayal we seldom see and never before so well lived. For this category, we also have a runner-up that is Eugenie Anselen with Caroline on the roof. Also, Willemine de Jonge with LOS will receive a honorable mention for our film festival. The nominees for the best documentary are Books No Bombs, the, of Stefano Di Petro, uh, the, uh, the Netherlands, Indo Silence, Swem Petum and Juliette Dominicus from the Netherlands, Samadilo, de Christine Ramos from the US, and a Not of Defiance from Brian Anderson from the United Kingdom. And the winner is... <laughs> Samadilo from Christine Ramos. documentary film just when we thought that everyone's story has been told Sabadillo reminds us that there is another world out there literally living on the edge of modern day life visually stunning showing an ethnic group that is bound and dependent on the sea we learn more about their situation through comp comp compassionate sorry intimate interview and expert knowledge of their situation. I'd just like to say that uh, Christine also couldn't be here. She recently screened the film also at uh, the UCLA. Uh, this was actually her debut as a director. And uh, she did something very powerful for us, which is that she gave voice to people who for a long time have been voiceless. And in, as a people who are now facing uh, climate change, something that they didn't cause themselves, it's more important than ever that we give people like the Samari Laura a voice. For this category, we also have a runner-up best documentary, and it goes to Books No Bombs by Stefano Di Pietro. We also have another runner-up, is Not of Defiance by Brian Anderson. And we have also an honorable mention to Indo Silence by Swain Pitton, Pitton and Juliette Dominicus. nominees for Best Debut Director are Sander Muda, Deafening Silence from Austria, Roman Hegman from Fever Dream, the Netherlands, and Jan Rizzo, The Hunt from France. And the winner for the category Best Debut Director is... <laughs> Roman Hegman, Fever Dream, the Netherlands. Fever 
Dream is a truly frightening film. Roman Hagman directed it as a young debut filmmaker, born in the Netherlands, raising important social issues in astonishing ways. Roman's film slides us into a nightmare of confusion and anguish, of searching for peacefulness instead of finding more psychosis. Through his direction, Roman demonstrates his vision of bringing about an understanding of mental illness and its impact. The rest is up to us all. There is also an honorable mention that is Sander Mode, Deafening Silence from Austria. The nominees in the category Best Director are Hideon van Eden with Enthen Lauten's Executioner from the Netherlands, Thomas Nau, Dennis Botts with the film Betrayal, also from the Netherlands, Joe Ingabire Moyes with the film Mazigaga from France. And the winner in the category Best Director is. Joe Gabiri Moyes, Bazigaga, France. <laughs> Joe Gabiri Moyes both directed and wrote the script of Bazigaga and rightly wins the International Film Festival The Hague's Covered Best Director Award. Bazigaga highlights the rage of Rwandan women during the genocide. Shot almost completely in the twilight of Bazigaga, Joe tells us a story of survival in Rwanda and of kindness during a period of total horror. He is not present with us tonight, which is why please give another round of applause for Joe in Gabiri Moyes. And the winner for the runner-up Best Director is Hideon van Eden with Enthen Lauten's Executioner from the Netherlands. that is Thomas Nauf and Dennis Botts with the film Betrayal from the Netherlands. The nominees for the category Best Film are Dog Run from Lorna Nixon Brown from the United Kingdom, The City of Human Chess by Cecilia Albertini from the United States and Italy, and Bento Box by Olivia Oweyang from the United States. And the, re and the winner for the category Best Film is... Dog Run, directed by Lorna Nixon Down from the United Kingdom. that touches on homelessness, exploitation, and modern slavery, and the healing power of nature. Yes, it's a story told in a way we can understand. It touches so many emotions pulling at our heartstrings. It's real, raw, funny, tender, painful, thought-provoking, and embarrassing at the same time. <laughs> and produced with such excellent acting, timing, and direction, and cinematography, all wrapped up, in this film of our time. For this category, we also have a runner-up. The runner-up for best film is... Bento Box, directed by Olivia Ouyang, from the United States. And for 
this category also um, honorable mention that is the city of human chess directed by Cecilia Albertini from the United States and Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow us to introduce this year's new special award for global peace and harmony. Global peace and harmony. Always walk this way. Time now to meet a man who is both a Hindu and a Muslim and goes by the name M. And is on a Padyatra of Kanyakumari to Kashmir walking. You're walking the entire length of the country, 7,500 kilometers. documents the momentous 475 railing march through India by 3M and over 10 million others who formed a grassroots movement seeking compassion, acceptance, and human understanding. This film is more than a documentary, it is a genuine apolitical call for peace. And that is something we must all hope for and work towards. We recognize your work through our special award for global peace and harmony. Thank you very much to the International Film Festival of The Hague, uh, Honorable Justice, uh, thank you so much for this honor. Uh, but this particular award I would dedicate to Shriyam and the walkers who walked the entire journey along with him. Thank you to the festival for putting this film in your platform and for letting the world and especially here in The Hague for people to see this attempt for peace which I think um, is very crucial for us today. Thank you very much. Now we're going to introduce the special jury recognition. Special jury recognition. Award International Film Festival The Hague Accomplished Artist. Special Award International Film Festival The Hague Accomplished Artist. Oh yeah, natuurlijk. Serge heeft deze van je ook verteld dat hier om te voorgeren. Het is een eer u te ontmoeten.
This year, we recognize Dirk Gunther Moore for his remarkable range of acting abilities that enthrall, enchant, and hold viewers spellbound. Whether comedy or drama, Dirk consistently makes an enduring impact. The International Film Festival The Hague holds his achievements and mastery in high regard, and we hope that his filmmaking will inspire young filmmakers in the Netherlands and abroad. Congratulations. <laughs> I would like to thank the great organization of this uh, film festival. Uh, they gave me... Thank you. Um, yes. uh, they gave me the great recognition to become uh, the artist of the year. And uh, they gave me also the recognition to show Betrayal, um, the latest movie I'm very proud of, and also a part of the team is over here. Um, thanks again for this great film festival and um, I hope you all had a blast. Uh, I sure did, so thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to announce a special memento for John Yu. We are delighted to announce our latest jury member of our festival, John Yu. John is a lawyer turned filmmaker, actor and director, and now a valued member of our team. Um, you know, here. It's a, it's a great surprise to me because I am just here to assist the film festival because uh, of Dr. Varenshi, uh, of his uh, great invitation. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm speechless, but, but, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I thank you um, all, all of these, all of you filmmakers, you all uh, go through a very um, 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 you know, harsh journey and uh, your work is, is, is being recognized. And I will also continue to um, make more work and uh, show in show in film festival and support the international film festival of the Hague, um, and I uh, hope it, it will you know last for one hundred years. <laughs> international film festival of the Hague.